Thank you very much. Now it's a special pleasure to uh, give the floor to President of the House of Representatives of Cyprus, Anita Demetriou. My dear Estolena, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I think today it's a very important opportunity that we manage, and thank you for the hospitality, we managed to be here and send a strong message of solidarity and support to Ukraine and Ukrainian people. And it is our responsibility to raise awareness, especially with all this propaganda, correctly was mentioned before, with all this propaganda that is taking place. I will be really honest today that I never believed that I was going to speak in 2022 or experience such a brutal attack or an invasion or an ongoing incubation and so on in the heart of Europe. I never believed that uh, such an attack or memories after the Second World War were supposed to be alive again. And uh, I, I still cannot believe how a third country uh, believes that they can use the force, the weapons and their power to invade, to kill, to erase every legality and norm or principle just because they believe they can do so. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an extra responsibility as parliamentarians. In this room, I see parliamentary leaders and presidents, and it is up to us to protect democracy and legality. It is up to us not to accept any such brutality, such illegal actions. It is up to us to show the same correspondence in every such situation, despite who is the third country or who is concerned. Because the compliance with our norms and principles shall always be punctual and persistent. In my country, we know, in Cyprus, we know. We experienced back in 1974 the Turkish invasion and we are still experiencing the ongoing occupation after 48 years now. Now where the international law is standing here and how sovereignty rights they are violated every day is another issue and it's not now the issue to be discussed. What I know is that we will never stop to support Ukraine. What I know is that we will continue to support Ukraine as much as we can, nevertheless that we never had the same support as a country and I want just to be honest. But we can understand, as we are the victims of the same nightmare, and what a very, the, from the very much beginning, we did whatever we can and we continue to do so, not only with resolutions, not, not only condemning the annexation of Crimea, not only having compliance with all the measures and sanctions decided by the European Union, not only participating in joint declarations, not only be present everywhere just to unify our voices to be heard, because Crimea is Ukraine and Ukraine is Crimea. Because we will not stop support Ukraine and we are determined to contribute in every possible way to collective efforts to provide assistance to Ukraine and to exercise pressure on Russia and to any country that decides to violate human rights, international law, our principles. Ladies and gentlemen, we are currently experiencing a difficult and very complicated reality, a new political era. It is up to us to stand on the correct side of the history as the ones who supported democracy, legality and international legal order. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not about Ukraine. It is about all of us. It is about our survival. It is about the future we want to live in. We have to be honest. We have to be fair, we have to be united, vividly be present until victory, and we really wish that to Ukraine and Ukrainian people. They deserve it. And I will close my intervention with a wish, because I know what it means to be a refugee. I'm a refugee from Famagusta, and I'm not allowed to visit and return back to live in my house. So with the same ambition, passion, and thrill, I wish peace, stability and prosperity for my country, Cyprus. I wish freedom, stability and prosperity from Ukraine and the beautiful Ukrainian people. Slava Ukrainian. Thank you very much. And now I would give the floor to...